Hey friends, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today is actually Sunday when I'm filming this. It's my Sunday skincare day, and I wanna share with you guys today how to do an at-home facial. So on Sundays, I like to give myself a little extra skincare pampering. As you guys know, I'm such a skincare girl. I love skincare. I love taking care of my skin. I only use the best products. I only use products that really, really give results, medical grade, as you guys know. But Sundays, I like to take it a little extra step I like to you know give myself a good mask a good exfoliating just you know kind of step up a little bit on Sundays and just really you know give myself that a little bit of extra pampering to my skin We're also busy all the time I really try to dedicate a day to you know give myself the skincare mask give myself the good exfoliation all of that stuff so I know you know we're all stuck in the house right now I just recently missed my recent facial appointment which kind of bummed me out I have not had a facial in months and I was so looking forward to this appointment but then it got canceled due to the lockdown that we're all in so I figured now is the best time to share my at-home facial with you guys because you can really get amazing glowing skin just like you would with an in-office facial you can really do the same thing at home if you have you know similar products and great skincare products so I'm gonna share with you guys today my at-home facial to get glowing skin I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to thumbs up honestly giving my video a thumbs up helps my channel out so much it not only just helps it in general but it helps to let me know what videos you guys like to see the most and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well and subscribe for more videos and let's get Get into it. I have nothing on my face. I am ready to get my glowing, amazing skin. So let's get started. So the first step to your at-home facial is remove any makeup. Now, I don't have any makeup on right now. It's the morning and I haven't even worn that much makeup since being kind of locked in my house here. But to remove makeup, I love the Bioderma. This is what I use to remove my makeup every single night. So to start your facial, just remove everything that's on your skin. If you have eye makeup on, just remove everything. Next, we want to cleanse our skin. After you remove your makeup, you really want to make sure that your skin is perfectly clean. I'm using the Globiotics MD. This is the Probiotic Acne Treatment Cleanser. It's a 2% salicylic acid. I am obsessed with this cleanser. I love this cleanser. It just deeply cleans pores and I do have more acne prone skin. So this cleanser just really, really helps to cleanse my skin, clear my skin, and it has probiotics in it. So it really balances out your skin and it's just one of the most amazing cleansers I've ever used. So I'm going to use this today. We're gonna clean, no dirt, nothing on your skin. Really give yourself a good cleanse and just massage that cleanser all over your face. And then I'm gonna take a damp washcloth and just wash that off. If I was by my sink right now, I would just like rinse my face, but I'm doing this in front of you guys. So I'm gonna just take this damp washcloth and just wash off that cleanser. So the next thing that we're gonna do for our facial here, this is a very crucial step, we are going to exfoliate. And this is the exfoliator that I'm gonna use. This is the 100% Pure, the Acai Pulp Facial Scrub. I like this facial scrub because it really does a good job at exfoliating, but the ingredients are very gentle and very nourishing to your skin at the same time. They're all natural, so I love that. It's not filled with chemicals and fragrance and a lot of the crap that's just not good when you're exfoliating. This is just infusing your skin with natural, amazing ingredients, but at the same time, you know, really deep cleaning, really scrubbing off the dead skin cells, and I love this. So I am going to take some of this. It comes out looking like this. You don't need a whole lot. Whenever you're using a facial scrub like this, like, like an actual physical scrub, you want to make sure that your face is damp, which my face is damp right now. You don't want to do it on dry skin because that's just not healthy for your skin. You want to make sure your skin is damp so you're not, you know, doing damage to your skin at the same time. But this scrub is infused with aloe and just amazing ingredients that, again, like I said, nourish your skin at the same time. is really, really exfoliating. This is probably one of my favorite scrubs that I've used, that I've found. I'm always looking for good, healthy scrubs because a lot of scrubs are filled with like fragrance and just like I, I just they're just not good for your skin they're taking dead skin cells off and everything but then you're also doing damage with you know fragrance and just crap chemicals so I really like this one to give me the best scrub 
get rid of all the dead skin cells, really deep clean the pores, but then it's also giving me really, really good ingredients that are getting deep into my pores at the same time. So just take this and when you're doing a scrub, you want to just lightly massage it into your skin. You don't need to go all crazy. You don't need to go all harsh. Let the little scrubby beads do the work. You don't have to press so hard. So after I've massaged that into my face, I'm going to rinse that off. Make sure that's all off your skin. And your skin after that product gives such a radiant glow already. I love it. Now, if I was doing this by the sink, I would also take this down my neck too, but it's really hard to do that on camera and kind of go all the way down. But if I was by my sink right now, I would do the scrub and everything that I'm doing, I would take it down my neck as well. It really, really is beneficial for like your neck and chest at the same time. Next, I'm gonna take a clay mask. And no matter what skin type you are, no matter if you are dry, no matter if you're oily, we can all benefit from a clay mask. You just wanna choose the right one. And a good clay mask is not gonna dry out your skin. It's going to really just, you know, bring all the crap out of your pores and just declog and just ungunk your skin. This is what I'm using today. It's the Kipris, the Deep Forest Clay. This is a detoxifying mask and exfoliant. This is amazing. It really does the job of, you know, just unclogging pores, getting out all the gunk from your skin, but then at the same time, it doesn't over dry your skin and it just leaves your skin feeling amazing. Again, good for dry all the way through oily skin, it looks like this. This is probably one of my favorite clay masks. And one thing that I will tell you about any clay mask is you don't wanna leave it on longer than it says. Most clay masks say to leave it on for maybe like 10 minutes. I think this one says about 10 minutes. You don't wanna leave it on for more than what it says because when a clay mask, if you leave it on too long, you know how it gets like really, really dry and really tight on your skin? It's actually, not good for your skin if you do that. It's actually going to hurt your skin, whereas you wanna take it off at the right amount of time so that it doesn't overly dry out your skin and actually do that harm to your skin. So you can leave you know, hydrating masks on longer, certain masks you can leave on longer than what they say, but a clay mask, you really wanna keep it to what the suggested time frame is. That's a huge, huge thing. I know a lot of people think, oh, I'll leave it on. And you know, the longer the better, but not with a clay mask. So I'm gonna let this Kipris mask on. This one says allow to rest on your skin for up to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna leave this on for probably about 15 minutes or so. And I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna go see what my kids are doing because right now they're outside with Brandon. Brandon's my boyfriend. They're outside with him. He got them all canvases and spray paints and charcoal and you know, all different kinds of paints. And they're like making like artwork for my house right now. So it's gonna be super cute. I can't wait to see what they're coming out with. I'm gonna literally walk outside like this right now and check on them. So I'm gonna be back. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. All right, 15 minutes later, I just rinsed my face, just a little bit warm water and we've got the mask completely off and I cannot even tell you how smooth and soft my skin feels right now. Like, oh my gosh, it feels so good. Okay, so now we're gonna move on with our facial. I'm going to tone my skin next. I'm gonna use the Revision Soothing Facial Rinse. You want a good gentle toner just to kind of tone your skin, balance out the pH from here, and just make sure you got all of that mask off. This revision is probably one of my favorite toners as well. Like I said, it's gentle. It's good for all skin types and it softens and hydrates your skin so beautifully. It is definitely one of my favorite toners and it's a toner that I use and keep on hand all the time because I like to switch up between an exfoliating toner and a gentle toner. And this by far is my favorite gentle toner. Okay, so we did the clay mask, which the clay mask is gonna really help to draw out impurities from the skin and just really declog the pores. Next, I'm gonna apply a mask that's gonna be really hydrating, soothing, repairing to the skin. And I'm also going to apply eye masks. And the best product in the entire world, I am telling you I'm obsessed with these as well, is the Color Science. It's the Total Eye Concentrate. And 
and then their Color Science eye masks. This concentrate is full of peptides, hyaluronic acid, just such amazing ingredients that really are going to help the under eye with smoothness and wrinkles and depuffing. And if you have darkness, it really helps with darkness. So I'm gonna take the Total Eye Concentrate. It comes in a little roller ball like this. And all I do is smooth this under the eyes. And I just make sure to get enough product to really saturate the under eye area. And it just puts a nice product under the eyes there. I'm going to take the eye masks and I'm going to apply those directly over top of that eye concentrate. And we're going to apply them just like that. And then these eye masks as well have peptides and hyaluronic acid and just amazing ingredients for anti-aging and just really plumping up, hydrating the under eyes, which we all really need. They're gonna help with like crepiness and just it's a great boost for your under eyes. So I apply those first and then I'm gonna take this mask, which is one of my all-time favorite, just repairing, just hydrating masks. It's the Osmosis. This is the Tropical Mango. It's a barrier recovery mask, which again, and probably most of us need because we all kind of do a little bit of damage to our barrier if you are using retin-a especially that's the worst thing to do for your barrier and if you're using too many you know exfoliating AHAs or BHAs a lot of us are taking down our barrier and our natural barrier function which is really good to make sure you are taking the time to really rebuild your barrier and make sure that your barrier is in good function because the health of your skin barrier is everything if you have a bad skin barrier you're going to realize you have more sensitive skin you're going to realize like when you put products on your skin if you get that like burning like stinging sensation that's probably not a healthy barrier it's just so important you need a good natural skin barrier it has to be healthy so this is just one way to keep it healthy and again, if you're using a lot of exfoliating products, if you've over exfoliated your skin, if you're using too much Retin-A, you have a damaged skin barrier. So really focus on building that back up. This is just a great repairing mask. It's hydrating. It will repair damage to your skin. And it gives your skin an amazing glow. So I'm going to apply this all over. Now this is a mask that, again, it said leave on for about like 15 minutes, but because this is a barrier repair mask and a hydrating mask, you can leave this on for much longer. So if you wanted to, God, you could leave this on for a couple hours. If you're sitting there watching TV and you're, you know, just hanging out at home, you could leave this on for longer. It smells amazing. It smells like a mango smoothie but it honestly softens your skin and really repairs any damage to your skin. So like I said, it's one of my favorite, favorite masks. And I just like to use this mask weekly to really just boost that natural, you know, barrier of my skin. So I'm gonna leave this on. I'm gonna let that set for at least that 15 minutes. Oh God, you can feel how good it feels on my skin. I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm back 15 minutes later again. I just rinsed all of that off my face. I peeled off the eye masks and I am left with amazingly soft skin. Oh, you guys, I wish you could literally feel my skin right now. It feels incredible. So we're gonna move on to the last couple steps of this facial. And the next thing you wanna do is just apply your treatment products. So I'm going to apply these two products right here, which I have been nonstop using, and I am, you know, kind of re-obsessed with these two again. It's the Osmosis Catalyst AC11, which is an incredible product. It's like a DNA repair. It's your vitamin C. It is unbelievable. I mix that with the Renew, which is the Osmosis Vitamin A Serum. It's the top highest level of vitamin A. This is a retinaldehyde serum, which I cannot even tell you guys how beneficial retinaldehyde is for your skin. I'll do a whole like retinoid video and the differences between retinol, retinaldehyde, retin-A. I'll do a whole video on that, but retinaldehyde is my absolute absolute favorite tried and true vitamin A product. And the Osmosis is top of the line for retinaldehyde. It's amazing. So like I was saying, the Catalyst AC11 by Osmosis is a DNA repair serum. So it is a vitamin C, a high potency vitamin C, but it also will help repair like scar damage. It will help repair 
um, pigmentation under your skin. It will help repair blood vessels. If you have broken blood vessels, this truly, truly helps them disappear. I know anytime I have like a little broken blood vessel that pops up, when I start using this again, which is why I actually started using it again now, I'll completely see a difference with the way my skin looks and like the redness or the broken capillaries. It's insane. So it's really a DNA repair serum. It really, truly repairs your skin. I've seen nothing like this. What I do is I give this a good shake because all of the osmosis products, if you guys are familiar, are very, very potent and very concentrated. So this is gonna come out in like a deep kind of brown color like that. That is completely normal. These are all natural products. There's not, you know, chemicals in here to cover up the color or anything like that. This is like the natural color. So I take a pump of that and then I take a pump of the vitamin A serum and I, that's like a yellow color. So kind of crazy looking, but you just mix them together. And I honestly just take like a pump, not even a pump of each, like a half a pump of each, because again, they're so concentrated. People don't realize when you're using good skincare and skincare that really produces a result, you don't need to go crazy with adding product to your face. Just a little bit goes a long way. And I just combine both of those and I make a little osmosis cocktail. And I just really massage both those together into my skin. The combination of these are incredible. It's so funny because my boyfriend said to me the other day, we were sitting there and again, I have no makeup on. I haven't worn much makeup lately, but he is so cute. He always says, I look so beautiful without makeup. And you know, why do you wear makeup? You don't need makeup. You look so beautiful without makeup, but he's so sweet. And the other day he said to me, he's like, God, your skin looks probably the best it's ever looked. Like right now, I'm like, really? And I swear, it's just since I've started using these two in combination with each other again, I always kind of go back to those and I see a huge, huge difference with my skin when I use those. So I'm gonna take the Osmosis Boost, which is a peptide activating mist. This is supposed to be used in conjunction with the Osmosis Serums, because again, the Osmosis products and their serums are so concentrated, and the delivery system that they use, you wanna use this activating mist. I just take a little bit of that on my hand, and then I just massage that mist just over top of those serums, because of the delivery system that Osmosis uses, you want this mist to fully penetrate and it really helps to work those concentrated serums really deep in your skin. So people always ask me, do I really need the mist? And I'm like, honestly, yeah, because if you wanna get the best out of your products and you really get that true delivery system that takes those Osmosis serums deep into your skin, then the activating mist, it's not a hoax, trust me, you want that because you will see a difference when you use it. It's got amazing ingredients for your skin too. There's minerals and peptides, it's great for your skin, but then at the same time, it's gonna really deliver those concentrated active ingredients just deeper into your skin. So I apply that next and then I'm going to take my eye cream and I'm gonna use the SkinCeuticals, the AGE Eye Complex. And I'm going to pat this under my eye. I love this eye cream for firming and if you have crepey skin or wrinkles under your eye. Like I've talked about so many times on my channel, there's not a whole lot you can do for wrinkles and crepey skin under your eye. You know, like you can't use Botox under the eye. You can't do a lot of you know, filler even under the eye. Filler helps with the hollows, which you get, you know, under, you know, like the hollow area of your eye. It's not gonna help the skin. And if you get crepey or like, you know, loss of elasticity under your eye, there's not a whole lot that can fix that. So you really, really want to use a great eye cream. And the SkinCeuticals AGE eye cream is targeted for crepey skin and loss of firmness. And I can tell you, I've been using this for years and I highly, highly suggest it. After that, we're gonna hydrate our skin. I'm gonna use the Glowbiotics. This is the Probiotic Instant Refreshing Gel Hydrator. And this is one of my favorite moisturizers of life, you guys. If you have not tried this, I highly, highly recommend it. This is an amazingly just like 
very lightweight yet super hydrating gel. You can see I'm actually almost gone with this one. This is good for all skin types, whether you're dry to oily, but if you are more oily, you are gonna be obsessed with this because it's so, so lightweight and it sinks into your skin so amazingly. And I know so many of us with oily skin, we're always like struggling to find the perfect hydrator and moisturizer for our skin that really truly hydrates, but doesn't leave you feeling thick or heavy or too much on our skin. This will hydrate very deeply, so it's really great for dry skin at the same time, but super lightweight. It sinks into your skin so well, so even people I know with like super oily skin, they swear by this stuff. It has probiotics in it, so it is going to balance out your skin, and probiotics are so good for your skin. Now, they have to be made a certain way, and you know, delivery system and all of that stuff matters as well. I know of other over-the-counter um, probiotic skincare lines that I just don't personally recommend. Their ingredients aren't the greatest. This is the Globiotics MD line. It is only sold and really distributed through physicians, and you will see a difference with Globiotics. It's definitely one of my top five medical grade skincare lines. I'm obsessed with Globiotics. Their products are phenomenal. So I love that. That is an amazing hydrator. So good for your skin. My skin feels so smooth and so soft right now. I'm going to finish off my entire facial with a good SPF. I'm going to take my Revision IntelliShade True Physical. This is my anti-aging all-in-one SPF. It gives me coverage. It makes my skin just look even toned and glowing and I love it. So this is what we use next. I'm going to take a pump of this and I'm just gonna massage this SPF all over you're gonna notice I don't go over my eyebrows I have micro eyebrows so I just kind of keep all products off my eyebrows but I go everywhere else I take my SPF under my eyes and just really work it in all over I also always always take it down my neck SPF on my neck every single day and this just truly makes my skin just look so perfect. I never wear foundation anymore. I just use my tinted SPF. And when you use good skincare and you take care of your skin and you really focus on keeping healthy skin, the less makeup is needed and the less makeup is better for your skin. If you're always covering up your skin and just caking on makeup, you're actually doing more harm and damage to your skin. So let your skin breathe. Try to use less and less makeup and you're gonna notice that your skin actually becomes healthier and healthier at the same time. So it's a win-win for your skin. But that is it, you guys. That is my at-home facial. My skin feels so incredible. It is glowing, it is soft, it is smooth. I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my at-home facial. I will list all these products down below for you in the description box, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Again, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, please, before you leave. It really helps out my channel so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.